Hey you guys, before I show you that polymer clay clock, I want to take a minute to explain something. Um, the project itself was a fail because of the wood, using the wood. Um, all the clay working and stuff was accurate, but just the material itself, the wood, the foundation I built the clock on, it wasn't a very good idea because um, when I baked it in the oven, it bubbled. It, you ever try to fry bologna? in a skillet, you know how it bubbles up like into a big mound? Well, that's what my clock did. It did it in two places and I was able to save the clock, so to speak. What I did is I pulled it out at the last minute and I put pot holders on it and I ran cold water on it until it completely cooled and it cured flat like it's supposed to but it wound up getting some cracks in it. You can't use wood. Um, I'd use metal or maybe just use the clay itself on glass or something. Uh, a couple interesting comments on Facebook. One guy said that you should pre-bake the wood before you put clay on it. Bake it in the oven first and then coat it in like Elmer's glue. I haven't tried this. I'm going to try it. And I will be making more clocks because it was really, really cool. And I like that. I, I have, a, it's our clock now. So I made us a clock. And I appreciate you for checking out this series and everything is pretty awesome. Thank you. And this is our new clock. It's up there telling time. I think it still looks really, really good. And me and my wife both like it. So it's not like a loss. Um, but it was definitely a learning experience.